Hey, my beautiful, powerful collective. Welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time on my channel, like and subscribe, hit that notification button. If this is not your first time, hey, family, welcome back. So we're going to get into this daily energy. Um, this basically just whatever spirit wants you to know at this time. Um, most high, I thank you for my beautiful, powerful collective. I thank you for their life, their purpose, and their very being. Anything that is hindering them, we ask you to remove it. Anything that's rising up against them, let it fall down immediately. Victory is our portion. We walk in it. We claim it. We receive it. All right, collective. Let's get to this energy. Most high, what should our beautiful collective know at this time? Messages of power and light. Messages of power and light. Ooh, okay, three cards came out. The first card we have is cassette, old dated, uh, outdated thinking over and over in your head, even thinking over and over in your head. I feel like collective, this could be you thinking about a situation or something, and it's like you keep playing it over and over in your head, or this is somebody that, that, that wants to come back in, but it's like they keep seeing a situation uh, that could have taken place between the both of you uh, over and over, and they're not, they're, it's like they're, they're only still looking at a situation from one perspective. They're not uh, looking at it from different uh, aspects. The next question we have is talking, interested, conversation. Somebody wants to come in and talk to you about a situation that they can't get out of their head. It's like... They keep replaying something that's happened. This could be somebody that you separated yourself from and you could have told them something that, that will not get out of their head. And I feel like, especially if some truth came towards it or some truth was in it meaning if you told somebody something and it came to fruition it's like they can't stop thinking about it. they can't stop thinking about what it was that you said how you said it and right now i see girl with the snake so this is somebody that this is empath narcissist uh being charmed to use enable battery so this is somebody that it was a one-sided um a one-sided relationship and i feel like before you really exited the situation you told them something that that i feel that came to pass the very thing that you told them, it scared them when it was happening. Some of you guys could have told them something like, uh, you're going to reap what you sow. Or the next person is going to do something. And, and it, it was like you, 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 you said something that was very prophetic. And it came to fruition. And now this person can't get off their mind. They can't get you off of their mind. It's something about you. This person isn't making healthy choices when it's dealing with their body, which makes me feel like this person could be on drugs, heavy drinking, and just really not taking care of their body. They could be letting a lot of people in their temple. And right now I see girl talk. So this is some, uh, this person could be talking to uh, friends and families about a particular situation, what you said, how you said, and how it's affecting them now. We have mirroring each other. This person, what you told them is making them look in the mirror. It's making them see their deceptive ways. It's making them see their narcissistic ways. And this is something that they want to talk to you about because they feel that whoever this is, they feel like you're very in tune to a point to where it's kind of scary, but they have to come back in and talk to you. You've ended situations with this person because you started something new. And right now, this person is coming in wanting a second chance, but you're not giving it to them. I feel like this person is about to reach out to you very soon. Yeah, this person is has a broken heart. It's your distance that you it's something you told them and the distance uh the distance that you place between the both of you. This person is not uh this person is grieving. They ever since they lost you, they start to appreciate what it was that you really brought to the relationship. And now it and then whatever you're saying is reflecting. I feel like what you tell them is somebody uh close to them told them the same thing. This is like a um you are the messenger. You, that message keeps getting reiterated y'all ever had a situation where it's like oh confirmation confirmation like you hear some here you see some there and it's all the same thing like god damn god's trying to tell you something right now right now right now i feel like <laughs> that's how this person feels they feel like whatever you told them they keep hearing it over and over they keep seeing it it's like you gotta get this message and right now this person is heartbroken because this end is here and they feel like now they're starting to realize appreciate how valuable how rare you were and this was a karmic relationship mm. most high when it's come talking about cassette what is cassette spirit what is cassette? 
Okay. Yeah, if you mentioned something about this person's childhood wounds, like if you pinpointed why they act the way they act, I feel like this is something that they're playing in their head, in my head about you. They can't stop thinking about what you said for them. some of you guys. You told this person that the reason why they are the way they are is because how they was raised. Um, yeah, and they keep thinking about you because of what you said, and not just that. I had a uh, had an affair with uh, with someone you know. I feel like right now. The very thing that you told this person why they were damaged, uh, uh, going, uh, dating it back to their childhood and how they were, how they act. I feel like this person could have had an affair with somebody that you know, and then when they really realized it, why they were even in the process of having that affair, I feel like the very words that you said rang in their head, and it was something they couldn't get out. And then they were seeing how they were deceiving you and they were and they were actually lining up things on how they were deceived or how things took place when they were kids. And this is something that they talked to their friends about trying to get some type of understanding on how did you know that and, and they're starting to they're starting to see themselves for who they truly are. This was somebody that 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 put up a mask. They didn't they don't know their self. This person didn't know their self. This person uh, uh reflected what they thought other people wanted to see or what the and or what they were programmed with from their family and i feel like when they came in contact in contact with you you were like that that illusion buster you were the ball buster collective you bust they they whole life all the way up and let them know no this is fake this is false you are phony you are not real you are not authentic and now this person is going in a spiral, I believe, because it's like they just can't get right. It's like they, they're trying to be happy, but then they feel like they're not happy with you. This person it, uh, is an envious person, which I feel like they this person was jealous of you. This person was jealous of you because of things that you can see. Also, I feel like this person could have a lot of things, uh, secrets. It says in the clause, they could have a lot of secrets or or skeletons that, that, that I feel that are coming out at this time. Spirit, what is talking? Oh, shit. This person wants to come and talk to you because they want some type of peace of mind. They feel like right now the only person that can give them this type of peace of mind is you. And then we have karmic is kicking a uh, karma is kicking my ass. I'm sorry. When it's dealing right here, it says girl with the snake. I feel like this person and it got bitch energy. So this person got with somebody that was very a low vibrational being. Um, for the ladies, the, 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 this 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 if this was your dude, this dude got with a karmic that was really petty and really um, snake like, and 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 now what they're going through, they could have had a baby by this person, or or like this person is really taking them through it, like information or something. And this person is, I mean, they carry that B energy, so like they're really going through it. And this is another reason why this person wants to come and talk to you to see if like if there's anything you could do to help them help them and when it says girl talk um having fun i feel like right now spirit is putting you in this energy of lightheartedness i feel like um it says you're heavenly protected you have angels your spirit guides your ancestors are protecting you right now also protecting you from this negative energy because i feel like the person that this person is dealing with be it a man or a woman i feel like the other person knows about you and the other person watches you but the things that they try to do to get to you oh they, and this could be something not even but not to you you don't even know you got haters watching you well you know you got haters because you you know you want your shit let me pop your collar collective but the truth is i don't feel that you know exactly who this person was messing with and you know now they watching you and it's like what spirit says don't even worry about that low vibrational bitch energy because you're protected and that's the reason why they're going through what they're going through right now we have oh spirit what is hold on family okay okay i'm back i'm back okay so now we have, let me ease your mind. So now because you ended something with this particular person that's going through drama with this karmic, they want to come and ease your mind trying to let you know that that they've changed. They want to see if you will give them another chance and because they're deeply hurting about this separation. It says this feels like wasted time. I feel like this is, this is uh, your energy and theirs. They want to come back in to see if you will let them in, but they feel like they're just going to waste their time and their feelings are going to be hurt which is probably so the way I'm feeling with these uh with these energies. 
because collective, I feel like you dodged a bullet. And when this person uh, chose somebody else over you, this was their karma and they didn't even know they were bringing smack dead into karma. Uh, talk to me, please. So now since this person is starting to, to see themselves, see their wounds from, and this is something that you have relayed to them about the healing that they need, the introspection part. Now this person is begging, please come talk to me. Um, and 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 this is a, was a karmic situation. Most high, what is this karmic relationship? Yeah, this person is in mental prison. Someone needs to confess. This person feel like they need to confess. They probably need to confess about the person that they've been with because it does say uh, they had an affair with somebody you know. The person that they know could be envious and this is what they want to confess to you about because they're starting to feel that maybe uh, the things that they've done, that's why they're, they're receiving so much karma. This person is in a mental prison right now. And uh, I feel like they want to come and confess something to you, but I don't think you even want to fuck with it. Anyway, collective, that's your reading. Y'all have a wonderful day. Remember, victory is ours. And just thank the most high that they saved you from this bullshit. <laughs>